Whare we Welcome to episode 9 of my Manawahine series. Now today I am bringing through the beautiful Alicia who is also a life coach. Now be with me. I'll just bring her through. Hello. There we go. I'm just going to um, add you. Whee to interview herself, uh, introduce herself, sorry. Hi. Hi, sis. Thank you. Can you, can you see me? Because it's a little bit black black on my yeah. side. Yeah, I can see you. Can you see me? Right? Can oh, you see cool. me okay? No, uh, my screen's just gone black, but that's oh. okay. That's all good. <laughs> good to see you. Thank you for morning. joining me for today. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. You're absolutely welcome. Now, I just wanted to share that I've been following you for, I think, over a year and a half now um, prior to you becoming a life coach. And I've just, yeah, I've just absolutely loved everything that you've shared, um, especially around self-love, self-discovery, and just being positive with how we all look as women in all shapes, forms, and sizes. Mm. Thank you. So thank you for sharing that on your on this platform. Oh, thank you, sis. I appreciate it. Thank you for following following my journey. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Now, um, sis, before we go any further, and before I interview you for today, and firstly, thank you for joining me for my Manawahine series. And I use this platform so I can um, share to more wahine out there as well, wahine who I've been incredibly inspired by and empowered by. And I wanted to um, go a little bit deeper into your journey that you can share on this platform too. So sis, if you can, could you please introduce yourself, um, who you were before you started use, creating your own online brand and before you became a life coach? Who were you then and who are you now? Please. Yeah, of course. Thank you, sis. Uh, so kia ora, whakaalo, whalahi atu. Uh, ko hingwa haku, ko Alicia Tamasi. Hau au he manga fulufulola guava sele. Ko ngāpuhi tōku iwi. Uh, my name's Alicia. I'm from the beautiful village of Avaselia in Niue. I'm also from the tribe of Ngāpuhi. So I'm a Māori girl. I currently live in Melbourne, which I am so blessed and so grateful to be here. Um, and I want to pay my respects to and acknowledge the people of the country and the land that I'm on today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects um, to you, to your elders, past, present and emerging. And like I said, I'm just so grateful to be here and to be in this space and to be in Melbourne. Um, I am a life coach, as you mentioned. I support women to love what they see in the mirror, to know that they're worthy, as is, it's their birthright, right? Um, and to be confident in their beautiful bodies. It's something I am so passionate about. And um, yeah, it was kind of a journey of my own. And then it became, you know what, there's so many other women out there that need help as well. So let's go out and let, let's help them. I also have a podcast. So I have incredible, incredible women on the podcast as well who share their stories. And I share stories of my own, of what I've overcome, what I'm going through, uh, tips and tricks and all the things. Um, but yeah, my journey has been, I think, you know, you've probably seen it. It's, I started out as an international flight attendant. That was my ultimate goal was I wanted to be a flight attendant. I wanted to travel the world and I became a flight attendant and it was amazing. I traveled the world. I did all the amazing things that I wanted to do. And then shortly after I got fired and once I got fired, I just went on this downward spiral, right? I was like, I felt like a failure. I was ashamed. I felt like I had done something in my life coming from where I came from. I was uh, brought up in government housing and stuff like that. So I felt like I failed my family. I failed myself. I just went on this downward spiral of drinking, smoking, drugs, hanging around with the wrong people, talking shit to myself in the mirror, hating myself. Um, I also ran away and moved to Melbourne in that time and it was 
worse than Melbourne and you know I was in depression I hated my job I was hanging around really shitty people I hated the house that I was in and crying myself to sleep in fetal position and it got to a point where I was like I don't want to be like this anymore like this is my life like looking around like I don't want this anymore I want something different and I started reading books and uh, it was a domino effect to I guess where I am today I found a life coach and um, that really helped me um, you know having that life coach and working on my trauma and healing the things that I went through in my childhood trauma and seeking outside of the validation, you know, working on my relationship with myself, working on my confidence, you know, being my so extra expressed self. Um, so along that journey, my life just started changing. I, you know, had created my own job. I started so extra the sunglasses side of things and um, did that for five years, became self-employed and did that for three years. And, it got to a point where I was making all the money. I have a beautiful relationship with my partner. I moved out and got our own home and we were just like thriving. But I was waking up and being like, damn, like I'm not, I'm not on fire. Like I'm not passionate about this. Like I'm packing the orders. I'm talking to the people and stuff. But it wasn't till I was out in my community. I was talking to the people. I did a lot of festivals and meeting people. And then I was like, I love, this is it. Like being around people and, you know, I started doing workshops and events and I was like, this, this, this is it. Um, so, you know, I was like, I think, I think it's the coaching. I think it's, so I started doing workshops and then started doing one-on-one -on -one clients. And when I was in it, I was like, this is it. This is my purpose. This is my passion. This is the reason I'm here on this earth. Um, and one thing I also want to point out is that when I was trying to find a life coach, I was like, Polynesian life coach, someone who looked like me, right? Someone who's, you know, knows where I come from, knows my struggles, my background, and I couldn't find it. And when I started realizing, I was like, I'm going to be that person that I needed back in like seven years ago. I'm going to be the Polynesian life coach I wanted back then. You know, there was a, there's no, there's a space for it. There's a gap. So it's like, I'm going to be that person. And that's how I became to be where I am today. That was powerful. That was beautiful. Um, I do have to apologize in advance if you see me like looking to the sides as my babies of all of a sudden joined me as well. So if you hear any noises, I don't have my, um, but I love that. I absolutely love that. And I love that you, um, you vulnerably shared your story as well. Um, and the journey, because I remember watching you when you were selling glasses as well and just everything that you shared about it. And then the transition into becoming a life coach because i just saw this whole sudden change and i was like who is this girl i have to get to know her really well and that was one of the reasons why i brought you in here but thank you so much for that and also um for being able to start first and filling in that gap especially for maori and pacifica um like we don't see a lot of our faces or our people out there in areas that we need it the most and for you to step into that it's it's beautiful it's empowering and i love that i absolutely love that and i'm sure there'll be other wahine or more wahine or even 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 possibly tane that would resonate with just seeing you being able to go first and helping many and supporting them as well so thank you sis that was beautiful i really i really really love that now um i've got an i've got another question for you as well i had to i had to type it up because my memory is not very the best um I'll, I'll i'll ask you also about your journey into transitioning into becoming a life coach mm. um now i know that's a big transition and a huge step from what we normally know and it, it can be a bit scary especially for um our people being able to reach out to life coaches for that extra support um, but I would love for you to share on the biggest challenges and barriers you've had and how you're navigating through it, please. Sis. Yeah, awesome. Um, when I think about the transition or even just the space, if I just, not even being a life coach, but just being in the, you know, showing up on social media, there's that caring what other people think. 
Um, and people reach out to me all the time like, hey, sis, I want to do this thing. How do I stop caring about what other people think? How do I just do it? And I'm like, sis, like, sorry to tell you, but it's going to be there. You are going to care. You are, you, it, it's just, it's how we're programmed. We do care about what other people think, what they might say and things like that. But I think the thing is that you have to do it anyway. You have to have those thoughts like, oh, my mom or my dad might say this because I've shared my journey about our childhood. And to them, they're probably like, that's not what happened. But I'm like, no, this is my truth, you know, and being like, I believe in my truth. And I, what happened? Oh, what's up? Yeah. Oh, be with me, everyone. Can you still see me? Uh, no, it looked like it just blacked out. Um, can you see me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay. I can hear you fine. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, they're going to be like, that's not what happened and all these things. But it's like, just you've got to do it anyway. You've got to keep showing up. You've got to have the thoughts and worry about what they're going to say. It's in your mind, but keep showing up. And when I first started, those thoughts were so loud. It was, you know, overcoming me. And I'm like trying to post something and it's probably taken me days to post one thing. But then now it's like the voices are slowly, they're quietened down. It's like I still can hear them. But it's like, I'm going to keep doing this anyway. Anything I post, it's like, oh, might get backlash. Fuck it. Like, this is what, I, what I'm here to do. I'm here to show up in these spaces. So you've just got to keep doing it. And I know so many people stop themselves from even starting because they think about what people might think of them. And it's like, do it anyway. You know, there's the people who are watching and they're, you know, criticizing or they're hating, it's a reflection of them and what they need to do. You know, they need to work on themselves. It's their, it's a reflection of them. So you keep showing up, <laughs> you keep doing your thing, you keep being your so extra amazing self and don't let them, don't let those thoughts stop you. You know, go with the thoughts, take them with you, you know, <laughs> be like, come jump on the passenger side, let's go, like we're going on a trip, like come with me. <laughs> so yeah I'd say that was probably the hardest thing and it hasn't gone away um I think it's like new level new devil it's going to come with you but you've got to keep going anyway go with the thoughts keep showing up I love that new level new devil I love that and 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 what you said too be so extra which is which is your um username as well I love that absolutely love that but no thank you sis um yeah. That was just powerful. Everything you shared was like, oh, Sid, I had to put it on mute because I'm sitting here like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love that. Oh, sorry. A uh, new level, new devil. I absolutely love that. Thank you, sis. Now, um, the next question that I have for you is what is the impact of you doing life coaching have on yourself, your whanau, and your wider community? Well, what has been some of the positive impacts that have come out of this for you? Oh, sister, I can't even tell you. There's something, not even just with, you know, the people around me, it's with myself, the way I show up. It's like, I don't have that, um, you know, not showing up as your fully expressed self. You know, there was this part, part of me or when it, back in the day where I'd be like, oh, I want to dress like that, but I can't because of this, or I want to do that, or I want to go speak on stages, and I want to go help people, and I was like, but I can't because of this, and it's like the impact of me working on myself is now being like, instead of being like, I wish I could do that, I want to do that, I want, it's like, no, I'm doing it, you know, I'm stepping up and I'm doing it, I'm being my fully expressed self in these spaces, so not only does it, you know, impact me, me, who I am today, the way that I walk around the world, the way I walk into buildings and show up. And, you know, it's like, um, it's contagious when you have this vibe around you, you know, people are, are attracted to that. And um, so that's contagious in itself. It's like you pass that amazing energy on. Um, but then in my relationship, I did a podcast with um, my boyfriend, and we talked about 
who I used to be. I was toxic as hell. I was uh, really, really struggling. And he even said to, at a point, he was like, damn, if you didn't change, I would have been out that door. Like there were points where he was like, oh, I got to leave. Like this, this chick is crazy. So I wouldn't have the beautiful relationship I have today with my partner. The communication we have is unreal. I think communication with my family as well. My sister's we we're just here uh, a couple of weeks ago and we sat down and we just have these beautiful open conversations and we talk about our childhood trauma and the things that they're facing and the things that I face and I'm like how can I be a better sister how can I show up for you more how can I you know and then they you know actually tell me how they feel and these things and it's like I wouldn't have these amazing connections with my sisters um if it wasn't for me doing the work because they even said to me they were like growing up you were such an angry, grumpy girl. You were unapproachable, like all these things, right? So I wouldn't have those relationships with my sisters, with my brother. Um, I, being in the spaces that I'm in, you know, there's these impacts when you go into these spaces. You know, the women that I help um, all the time, every day. You know, if I didn't work on myself, if I didn't come out and be like, I'm going to be a life coach, there would be women, you know, the women that I've been able to impact and help them with their confidence and to just see them and hear them and sit down with them because that was me growing up. I wish I just, I wish so badly I had to be seen and heard. And that's me for these women. I just sit down and I'm like, babe, what's going on? Like, talk to me, tell me, you know? And they just want to be seen and heard. And it's like, I wouldn't be able to impact them that way as well, right? Um, they wouldn't be showing up as their confident selves. They would still be in their bedrooms thinking, I can't wear that thing because I'm too fat. I can't go out on this date because I'm too fat. I don't look like the other woman. You know, I can't go for that dream job because X, Y, and Z. So I think the impact that, you know, this journey, me trying to better myself has for me is incredible. But the byproduct of that is that it, I've got so much goodness that it just comes out of me. And it's like, I can impact all these other amazing people around me as well. That is just, oh man, I'm just, I, I can feel goosebumps on me when every time you speak and every time you share this as well. Um, and it's just the aura that you're sharing about it. You've just got so much openness to receive and to give. And I, I love that, um, that saying, you know your inner world is a reflection or your outer world is a reflection of your inner world mm. and what you're sharing in the journey that you're going on it's just absolutely beautiful sis it's absolutely beautiful sis. and for you to go first and for you to go first and be that um like be that po for other wahine mm. out there maori pacifica all cultures it's it's definitely what we definitely need especially within our own cultures as well and oh man I'm just, I've just got goosebumps all over and I can feel your aura and it's absolutely beautiful and like you said, contagious. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you for sharing that. Now, um, so, so what else? I've got another question for you as well. How do you maintain and continue to build upon your own growth, mindset and well-being in your own daily life as well as doing your business and everything else? How do you, how do, you do that? Um, I I feel like it's it, it's already a part of everything. You know, I've been doing this work for seven years and I'm going to do it for the rest of my life, right? We're always healing. We're always on this journey. There's always something. And I, I, it was actually a really bad moment when I realized that I would work on things in my life and I'd be like, cool, now I'm good. I love what I see in the mirror. I'm good. Let's go. And then something else will come down and it's like, yeah, but you've got this to work on now. And then I'd work on that and I'd clear the space and then something else would come down. So I feel like it's always a journey of healing. So I love this question. Um, I think in my everyday life, there's moments where I just, I'm quiet with myself. Um, if, whenever I'm on drives, I'm quiet. There's no music going. Sometimes there's a podcast, which is also, you know, a trying to level up and do amazing things. So I'm listening to these um, personal development uh, podcasts and stuff like that. But I think it's those quiet moments with yourself. It's so important to know what's going up and 
going on in your head. Um, so I'm quiet with it. I'm like, damn, what's my thoughts today when I'm driving? You know, what's my top five thoughts? You know, oh, today I'm feeling good. Or if I'm in a shitty mood, it's like, cool, turn it down. Let's get with, with it with myself. Let's journal. What's going on in my head? What's, you know, so I think those daily practices, there's a lot of quiet moments in my life. I do stretching every morning, which is a quiet moment as well. Um, reading books. I always have time for books and personal development in that space. Um, I think just the energy when I meet people, I go into spaces, I'm having these um, great conversations, the people I'm around in these spaces, I only surround myself with people who are good for me, who help me level up, who uplift me, who inspire me, who empower me. So I'm really, really uh, cautious of places I go and where I put my energy. Um, it's not, I'm not just going anywhere. Um, so I think it is a part of my everyday life. I'm also studying as well. So I do um, my life coach studies. So all of that as well. And then um, with my clients, and I think a beautiful thing about, you know, my clients, whenever they come on, they're always like, thank you, sis, you're helping me so much. But I'm like, likewise, babe, like the things you share helps me as well. You know, there's moments in there where I, I get lessons as well. You teach me just as much as I teach you. And I think people think sometimes there's this hierarchy in things. And it's like, no, babe, I'm, I'm a person. You're a person. Like, we ain't, there's no levels here. It's like, we're all one. And I'll teach you things and you'll teach me things. And, you know, it's just this amazing energy and vibe and all the things. So I think it's already, it's become a part of my daily life but if anyone out there is like oh I want to you know incorporate things into my life I would say start getting uh, being aware of what's going on in your head because that's how you get to know yourself you whatever's going up in the head that's you that's you so start writing it down that's the best way to, to know yourself that's beautiful sis I could I, I think I can just sit here all day and just <laughs> just listen to your corridor and take all the golden nuggets that you share as well. But I love that. And I, I love that you touched base on that as well, um, especially as a wahine, you know. A, a, a working wahine is honouring your space, honouring your time and honouring your energy, which is super important. And I'm I'm only learning to do that a lot more, being 1% better each and every single day. Yeah. Um, oh, I love that. I have... I, this corridor is just absolutely beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> now, um, I, I have another question for you as well. So next one I have is, do you have any advice for anyone that would be looking into becoming a life coach? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say to do the work on yourself. Um, it's a journey in itself. It's like, uh, kind of to, to teach something, you have to become like a master of your own shit, right? It's like, how, who would I be if I was teaching confidence, but I wasn't a confident person? Like, that doesn't make sense. So go through your journey, start healing your stuff, start getting a life coach or a therapist or working in the personal development spaces, start getting out there in these spaces, um, start filling your kete up with you know tools and techniques and resources and stuff like that like i said i'm doing um I, i'm studying to become a coach as well um and in those spaces you know there's this this you're always gonna learn no matter where you go there's always something to learn every day in these spaces you go out into the world you're gonna learn something if you're looking to learn you know so um i learn a lot from that and i'm taking tools all the time i'm like cool i'm gonna use this with my clients and all these things so i think just up level yourself you know learning and the industry is unregulated so anybody can just become a coach and say they're a coach and start coaching so it's up to you and I think you will know deep down inside you when you're ready and when it's time to go and be like yep I've got my kit is full right I've got all the tools and resources I can start helping my people so I think it's up to you as well know inside know yourself well and be like cool I'm good to go let's go and it might be you start coaching and then you're like oh actually Actually, I need to go back and fill that kit up. Like, so you go back and you get more tools and stuff. But I would say do the work on yourself, fill up that kit, get the resources and everything that you need, and go out and do it and then reassess and keep reassessing. But I think it's an amazing space. We need more Polynesians doing this stuff. Um, I look for it every day and there's amazing, and I've found it now. I'm like, oh, 
there's amazing people in these spaces, business coaches, mentors, um, stuff like that. I'm starting to find these people and I'm just like, yes, this is what we need. We need more people like this. So if you're watching this and you know that you have something to give, start doing it, start showing up, start making the page and sharing your tips and tricks and stuff. Just, yeah, show up, reach out as well. I'd love to have people on the podcast and start showcasing these people too. Hey, sis, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And what, what I get from you as well is um, so grounded. You lead with authenticity and integrity and it's absolutely, it's, it's very refreshing. It's very, very, very refreshing because social media or internet in general, you can come across so many people and you don't get that feeling and you don't get that vibe. But what I think you're grounded and yeah, you lead yourself with so much authenticity and integrity and it's, yeah, like I said before, refreshing, absolutely refresh, refreshing and beautiful. So thank you, sis. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on my, um, having, you on my Manawahine series. Um, it's just a new platform or series that I've got running on and something that I would love for more wahine to watch no matter what journey they're on as well. And um, what I what I had taken away from this especially is that we're always learning. We're all, we should always keep learning. We should always keep growing and healing is a long journey. <laughs> my golden child is just wanting to have his mom all over him. Here you go. <laughs> but no, um, thank you for joining me on my Ma Manawahine series. Now, I just have one other question for you too. I would love for you to share one word that explains or defines who you are now, please. Oh, I love this um, question. I'd say focused. Focused is the word and focus is my word for 2024 um, because I feel like on my journey with anything, it's like I'm on, you know, there's this roadmap and I'm like, cool, I'm here and I'm a, need to get here and I'm in this car trying to get there. But then things come up. People are like, hey, do you want to go on this holiday? Oh, I'm getting married. Come here. Oh, I have this idea or I have ideas. And I'm like, oh, I want to do this workshop and this and this event and this and I'm all out here. And the analogy I use is I'm on this uh, road trip and I'm in the waka and I'm trying to get, you know, to the freaking place. But it's like I'm out enjoying the scenery. I'm out on the beaches. I'm out, you know, it's like get back in the car, like get back and get back on that road and go for it. So I'm in this space where I'm so focused. I know where I want to go. I know where I want to be, uh, which for me is I want to become a certified life coach. Um, and then I also want to be self-employed as a life coach as well. So just to get there. Yeah, and uh, focused is the word for me. I'm not out here doing all these things. I'm just like, damn, like I'm tunnel vision. Let's go. Um, and I think it's just it's a beautiful space to be in as well because there is uh, also that um, uncertainty or you're not clear on something. But I'm just out here being like, no, this is what I want. This is what I'm doing. And people are like, oh, you're so bold. Like these are huge goals. And I'm like, babe, I tell you because. I know I'm going to get there. I trust in myself and I know that I'm going to get to that goal. And also it helps keep me accountable. So I would say focused is the word. I'm so focused. I'm so on fire. I'm so ready to go and get there and to, yeah, get my goals and dreams. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. Focused. Beautiful mm. word. Sorry, sis, you could hear my baby. That's right. <laughs> Mum life. Yeah. No, he's, he just wanted to come outside as well. I'm just going to leave him there. But no, um, I just want to say thank you for joining me for today and sharing your beautiful wisdom. I, I had taken so much away. Um, I'll definitely look into what you do too, even further, because we don't like, like you said, there's not, there's not a lot of uh, Maori Pacifica out there that are in these sort of spaces, and you've, you've pretty much given um, another helping hand to allow many of our own people to get into those spaces as well. So thank you for going first and being able to lend your own stepping stones to the rest of us. Um, yeah, keep being amazing, keep being so extra and just oh, pop off, sis. Yeah. It's just, wow, absolutely <laughs> beautiful. You.
Thank you so much for having me as well. Um, I love your mahi. I've come across it just recently as well. But just seeing the way that you show up in these spaces and knowing that you want to have a mana wahine series to showcase these amazing women doing cool things. I went through the feed and I was like, oh, fellow, fellow, like, yeah, let's get more of this. We need more spaces like this. So for you to show up in this space and the mahi that you do and you talk about being becoming 1% better every day, like how incredible that you're doing that as well so as much as you give praises and mihi to me i want to give it back to you as well so thank you for being our quiesis thank you sis um to anyone that's watching definitely go and check out the sis um over at so extra i'll drop her details into our caption as well and in the comment section but yeah definitely go and check her mahi out and thank you, sis. And I will love to interview you in several months from now just to see where you're at too. Yeah, awesome. Sounds good, sis. Have an amazing day. You too. Thank you, sir.